Joining us uh, to this afternoon, Aaron Brown, Portfolio Manager at PIMCO. Talk some rates as well as financials, Aaron. It's great to see you. Um, I know we got most of the bank earnings out of the way. Kramer's going to talk to Moynihan, I think, tonight. But there doesn't seem to be a lot within the industry in terms of trends uh, that get you very excited. I think that as we move later cycle, and given how flat the yield curve right now, it is a difficult operating environment for the financials, You know, particularly for the brokers who had a real wave of benefit over the last 12 to 18 months because of increased M&A opportunities and increased issuance in part from the SPAC wave. And I think as we start to see that die down, it is going to be a more challenging environment ahead. And for the broader banking sector, you know, I also think that as we move later cycle and as we see you know, lower loan trends going forward, that also creates some headwinds to the industry overall. So while, you know, there are certain segments of the cyclical market I like, it's not financials. All right. And instead, it is something like what? Well, I think that commodity-oriented sectors, particularly the mining sector, is really poised to do well. We continue to see both cyclical as well as secular tailwinds, which I think will continue to boost increased commodity usage, particularly for those, you know, those industries that are more geared towards ESG, like copper. I also think that the industrials have underperformed year to date. And certain segments of the industrial market, like machinery, should also start to perform well, particularly as we start to see infrastructure spending ramp up. And so I think that that's certainly a better place to be. Also, I think that within you know, more of the cyclical-oriented parts of the economy, the reopening sectors like leisure and hospitality, I think, are going to do really well. The mask mandate being you know, sort of overruled um, in the in, in, in court, I think, really sets up well for increased summer travel. Um, and so those, you know, laggards, which have underperformed, like the some of the hotel names, some of the leisure names, I think will do really well as people start spending their money more on services, more on activities and experiences rather than on durable goods, which we saw as people were sort of locked down during the pandemic. Right. And that's really why you've got your overweight in travel, hospitality, and yet the underweight in consumer discretionary, because you're really banking on that wallet shift, it sounds like. And yeah, and you've actually started to see from early earnings reports some of that shift occur. You're seeing it even in early indicators from the trucking sector, which is underperformed year to date, largely because the rates and the contract rates and the volumes and the shipping and freight rates have gone down significantly because people are spending less on furniture, on durable goods, on appliances. And I think that as you start to move through the summer months, people are going to be spending any discretionary dollars that they have, the tax rebates space that are coming through on summer experiences on travel. And, and so that's where I think that that consumer dollar is shifting towards. And, and I really want to be really poised to take advantage of that in my portfolio. Yeah, we definitely saw evidence of that uh, today. We, we, we bought everything, apparently, and it's time to start moving around. Aaron, thank you. Aaron Brown uh, joining us from PIMCO.